Hey, what's going on guys? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces and after the live stream something happened. It got crazy. So the G-Lid thermal pads that I had in the back side of the RTX 3080 were perfectly fine. Three millimeter size is what you need for the back side of the PCB but for the front side of the PCB I did take the G-Lid and swap it over and then put Thermal Grizzly's uh, minus pad 8 on there replacing the old white oily thermal pads that Red Panda Mining was considering doing. The problem with it is the three millimeters too thick. We want maybe a 2.5 or two millimeter. Um, I would say realistically two millimeter would probably be the best one. But I replaced the oily pad and then it gave me trouble because the thermal paste that I put on there with the, the bulk of the GPU being squished was not making significant contact. So I was having thermal issues and previously the GPU core was getting up to like 84 degrees, so I knew I wasn't making uh, you know, sufficient contact. Gaming-wise, we're good now. However, we gotta switch back over to mining. So I got 12 watts per meter Kelvin on the front side of the PCB connecting the heat sink, and then eight watts per meter Kelvin, Thermal Grizzly uh, minus pad eight on the back side of the GDDR6X. Let's see if this will improve performance. So, so far so good, but let me explain what I had to do here. So after the live stream, uh, we were running into issues where because these thermal pads, the G-Lids, G -lid, you know, three millimeter thermal pads were a little too thick, when you would squeeze the GPU, excess would squeeze out upon the componentry, right? So the SMDs, capacitors, stuff like that. And in some areas, it was actually hitting and preventing the GPU from really clamping down where it needs to meet the heat sink needs to meet the GPU core for cooling, which is why I have uh, Thermal Grizzly's Cryonaut Extreme. It's a little bit thicker um, and tackier than the regular Cryonaut, and so it can get the job done. I cut off any access where I needed it, where it wasn't making any, because this actually got caught between, um, in certain areas, it got caught between the GPU the protective metal rim around the GPU die, uh, as well the heat sink so it wasn't squeezing all the way down. So I cut off the access and I was able to go. But now that we got the G-Lid on the front, the idea here is that the improved thermal conductivity versus the stock thermal pads, oily thermal pads that Gigabyte gave us, will draw some of that heat towards the front side of the PCB or the heat sink rather than the back side. And then we got the minus pad eight to you know, supply additional cooling using the back plate to try to soak that up as well. So it was a little bit of a task. Um, we didn't really get an accurate reading in my opinion. 64.5C for memory is fine. And the thermal couples uh, or the thermal sensors were reading 64.5. That's nowhere near T-junction of 110. But I went ahead and replaced the thermal pads on the front side as well. Uh, Red Panda Mining didn't have to do this, but I had to, and so far so good. We haven't hit any thermal limits yet. I did have to kick up the fans in this case. You know, when it's in an open air mining rig, it will perform just fine uh, around where it's at, no thermal issues whatsoever. But when it's in my case, uh, I get, definitely got to increase the cooling. And I want the card in my case because I want to game with it. I want to play some World of Warcraft and some Call of Duty, Battlefield, whatever but still be able to mine on the side. So worked out well. It's just a lot of work for somebody, a consumer that wants to just game with their RTX 3080. So hopefully this video helped you out, guys. Matter of fact, in the links in the description, check out where I got all this stuff, right? So the thermal meter with thermal couples, K-type thermal couples, the captain tape, thermal grizzly, uh, Cryonaut Extreme, which is really expensive, so don't get it unless you really need it. Cryonaut, Conducto Knot, Minus Pad 8. All of this will be in the description below, so check that out. It greatly helps out the channel, and I greatly appreciate you taking the time to watch. And uh, hit the like button on the way out. Subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you guys in the next one. It's time to game. I spent all day on this. No thermal throttling. It would be thermal throttling by now. That's a plus.